Alrighty, hello internet and Steam. This is Ben with another mysterious update, kind of. This is actually going to be, I'm gonna try and beat the game. I have beat my own game. I've beat it once. <laughs> um, I spent a lot of time just testing stuff, so I don't get to try a whole lot, uh, but I have sat down and, and tried to beat it, and I have won precisely once. I've cleared all of my save data and all of my settings and all of my everything. Uh, so that I can play from the very beginning. Sorry, you may have heard my phone get an instant message text thing. Uh, put that far away. Anyway, let's just play. Let's just play the game. Ooh, and let me get, uh, let me make sure the mouse is not on there. Let me get my uh, Xbox controller here because I feel that's the preferred way to play. Um, except when you have to type your name because, I mean, you can do it, but look how, look how awful that is. Fine, fine, let's do it. Isn't that nice of it to tell you how once you start using the controller? All right. Uh, and I think I showed this off in a previous video, but that's okay. We're, we're, we're let's playing. I guess we're let's playing. I, I feel so silly. Yeah, I know that let's plays are a thing. I've never really gotten into them, and so they feel silly to me, but, but they're, they're legitimate. It's like Tumblr. I feel the same way about Tumblr. Uh, <laughs> this just goes to show my age. All right, let's practice shooting like she suggested. We actually probably should have skipped the... Uh, tutorial. All right, let's shoot the holograms that everyone who plays the game says, why didn't they respond to shots? Because they're holograms. I Eventually, I'm just going to make it so they respond to shots. All right, let's shut down. Let's play the game. An unidentified force is causing us to accelerate, or sorry, to decelerate. That's the problem. What are we going to do? We're going to stop in all the planets on the way and find three fuel. All right, let's just begin. You can, you can read text on your own time. You can go backwards in time and pause the video. Um, so, ooh, look at those little those little engine trails, those have been added for 0.5.1. Also, the angled terrain is coming together really nicely. Um, there were a lot of little bugs related to it. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to really talk about. I should try and be entertaining, right, while I'm, while I'm playing this thing. Um, so let, let, let's talk about some items. What am I going to try and do? What are my goals? What is my build? Because there are, there are a couple different ways you can go. Um, the, the main thing, though, I feel like is to get as many weapons as possible. And so these upgrade parts, like the one I just picked up, I'm going to save those for armor, sorry, for weapons. Uh, goodness. And actually, you know, now that I say that, thinking about that, why aren't there uh, more interesting build options? Like, why not an upgrade that just says your armor is 25% uh, stronger? Those little bouncy things are bad. Oh, do we have to navigate through here? We do, because check out that. These little black, these little, yeah, these little gnats, they do nothing. Just run into them. You can see they're hardly hurting my shield. Uh, I worry about the little balls, though. That's how I imagine the engine sounding, because of that weird spaced out effect. It was, it was an accident at first. I was going to ha I was having it kind of spray particles. Okay, so that little arrow is telling me that we should leave the planet. I don't want to leave. I want to look for more pickups. Um, the pickups that are kind of... Uh, scattered around. Oh, I can't fit. There's a smaller ship that can fit through those, uh, but you have to unlock it. The small, uh, the pickups that are just kind of scattered on the planet have better things than the pickups you get from monsters. And you can see I'm just skipping a lot of the monster. I like when the water does that. Uh, you can see them just skipping a lot of the monsters. Um, and I actually feel that that's a failing in the game. You should, you should have to fight stuff. Well, okay, so this is when you have to fight stuff. You go into a little dead end and you're like, uh, I gotta get out. Um, but you just I feel like the the best idea is to just run from uh run from enemies and only fight them when you have to. Uh that being said, they do drop alien artifacts and it's going to get these little guys. It's going to get to a point where there's so many enemies on the screen that I have to fight and you will want alien artifacts to quickly recover uh health and and shield and all that kind of stuff. So, let's see what I picked up. Absorbed up to 50 damage. Okay, let's just go in the shield thing. All right, it's slightly faster. You know what, that's fine. I'll go for slightly faster. Let's toss that old one. This is what I was talking about. I'm gonna save up for another weapon because I believe that the best defense is a good offense. Um, although I have not used any alien artifacts and maybe, see, so here's the choice. If I use this in the level, I have to do with its negative effect. So I would use it here, but what if it's good? Then I might wanna be able to use it later. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't want to play the alien identification game. Look, it's a terrible, it's a horrible, I'm throwing that away. All right, let's play the next level, which looks remarkably similar, but it's a different color palette. 
well, that's kind of too bad. We don't get to find uh, new mechanics. That's just how the random number generator wants to do it. God, getting hit by bolts is so bad. Okay, we got a new enemy on this level. Uh, new enemies are introduced as you advance. And for 0.5.1, I have added a new enemy type, which I hope to show you. Uh, I'm sure I will. He only appears on desert and lava planets. I'm really trying now. I feel like I've got... I still need more enemies in general, but I'm close enough that I'm, I feel pretty happy about adding um, planet-specific, planet-type-specific, or biome-specific, or, or, you know, whatever vocabulary you want, depending on the sort of game you're comparing to. Um, ah, I should have known, known better. Um, so anyway, I'm starting to add... Oh, good, good. Here's another... Oh, hello, sir. Do not want... Okay, good. And let's get that fuel. All right. That is all the fuel. And I, I did get the upgrade, right? Yeah, I got the upgrade part. That's the most important thing. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm healthy, so we're going to keep exploring. Brown alien artifact. See? Good. Who's shooting? Who's shooting? Unidentified ship part. Also good to get. And you can see my little mini-map down there in the lower left. Uh, I showed this game to my to, uh, to my dad. I think I've mentioned this a couple times in various places. He doesn't play games. Um, he used to, when he was, which is how I got into playing games. When, when I was a kid, so my parents had me relatively young. He was in college, and he played this old text game, you know, like text graph, not even ASCII graphics, right? Like, it didn't use a smiley face for you, no. You were some character, I don't even remember. Um, and it was called D&D, &D, trying to write on the Dungeons and Dragons thing. It was not Dungeons and Dragons. I don't think the mechanics were even similar, were they? I don't know. It's possible the mechanics were. Um, but that, those was more, that was one of the first games I played on DOS, and yeah, let's do that weapon. Um, I don't know, So, but he doesn't, he doesn't really play games anymore, which is, which is too bad. Um, okay, good. Five seconds of invulnerability. So I'm really bad at remembering to use my potion. And I'm really bad about it in roguelikes, too. I'm bad at roguelikes, and, and, and I'm, I'm bad in the exact same way here. I'm going to forget to use my, my potions when I should. Um, and, you know, it probably doesn't help that it's real time instead of a... Another forest. You know, it's as if I should make the random number generator less random so that you actually get a variety of planet types. Um... Anyway, so I showed the game to him, and there was a reason that I started talking about that. <laughs> I really honestly don't remember anymore. He was probably confused about something, and so I made it better. Um, it's, it's actually interesting. So, like, I don't want to... I obviously don't want to base all of my changes on... God, can you hear that annoying guy down there shooting? He aims at you. It's just an EMP shot, so it's not super bad. It doesn't hurt you. Um, anyway, I find the noise more annoying than anything. Oh, i got to get that pig up. Um... Oh my god, you guys. Okay, you need to die, you need to die, you need to die. Okay. Um, whew. That noise is really bad. Hey, maybe I should fix that too. Um, See, so yeah, I don't know, I showed, I showed him this game, and he was, he was bad at things. I wish I had had the uh, gamepad, actually, because something I noticed, like, he wouldn't press two arrows at once. You know, like I mentioned, you can move diagonally by pressing two arrows at once. He's like, oh. But like, it just didn't occur to him. And if he'd had a gamepad, he would have done better. And so I really, I mean, it, it, you know, again, I wouldn't want to base every decision on the game on someone who does not play games at all. But I think the things that a new player fail at kind of give you clues where, you know, they're, they're, you could make something better um, that would help everyone. And I think gamepad is the way to go. I mean, it, it does, it's, it's just, it's just better. It's just better. Um, but that's kind of a bad example. A better example would be things, uh, like him not knowing what you're supposed to do in the game. Um, uh, like find fuel, and I still do not have, I still want to add a little tutorial pop-up that says, uh, when you first go on a planet, hey, remember you're looking for fuel, you don't have to fight the enemies so much, because he was just fighting them non-stop up in space, not realizing that there was even level down below. Um, he thought the arrow was telling him to dodge, so that's something I want to add to have her remind you and tell you what fuel looks like, because, okay, she says go find fuel. Do you know what that is? Do you know that the little indicator there on the bottom left is how much fuel you have? You probably do not. Uh, ooh, so those are more things to do. Anyway, 
Not finding more stuff. Well, okay, there's some stuff. Ship parts. I like when you take their goodie, they just kind of freak out and go wherever. Ah, I failed to turn around. All right. Um, but yeah, I just want to explore the whole level because, you know, it works in roguelikes and it works here too. You want you want the items, you want the num nums, you want the goodies. All right, let's get out of here. Sector complete. So I'm doing well so far, right? I haven't been in any like seriously horrible situation. Do we care about that weapon? Maybe. Full restore shields. We care about that. Harder long blaster. Okay. An angry shield. Oh, I like angry shields. And Nova Shield, oh, that's too. Okay, destroys all things. You are slowed for 10 seconds. Nope, that's pretty awful. Double the firing rate of your first weapon, sure. Sensors flicker on and off. It's really bad. Um, we don't want that. All right, and let us get a second weapon slot. All right, so 0.2865 or 0.2. Only 20 damage. Not to target back. Knocking the target back is really weak. Uh, I'm probably going to remove that mechanic. It just doesn't do anything. Um, it doesn't slow them enough. And actually, if it just dealt less damage and maybe slowed them, like an EMP that also damaged? Could, maybe EMP just needs to also damage. I don't know. Anyway, knockback's not very good. Uh, and the game apparently thinks it's really good because it only deals 20 damage. Let's not equip that. Let's throw that out so that we never equip it. All right. Oh, yeah, shields. Uh, stronger, fires bullets. It's hard to say. The the random bullets rarely hit, but it's a stri slightly stronger shield. I'll do it. We still don't have any accessories. We still don't have any new armor. Ooh, we have a decision to make. So this, let's talk about this after we read this. Um, yes, yes, yes. A shorter path would get us there faster. We may find we're less prepared, right? So she's telling you. It's, it's the same as per level. You know, explore as much as possible to get as many goods. And this is here so that you can control your difficulty level is what I wanted. I wanted you to be able to take a short path if you're bad at the game and sorry if you're good at the game and a long path if you're bad at the game um but anyway whatever you say here it's a, it's a false choice but you feel like you're choosing that's nice oh my god so many forests in a row i i'm just gonna take the normal route then and go down because i'm sick of forest worlds um this is as far as you can get in the demo once you go to the next planet it says game over to you but this is not the demo so we now get to so the demo does not only throw forest worlds at you by the way that would be most unfortunate um, I hear a guy shooting his horrible aiming EMP. Okay, he's gone. Don't you love that little jaggy thing? That's the thing I'm going to fix before I release uh, 5.1. 5. 5. Don't, don't you worry. Um, and actually, I wanted to make it so that these things could be angled too, but the I'll figure it out. <laughs> the way I have things set up, it, it, it's not going to let me easily. And I'm just like, why? What have I done? Um because that shouldn't be difficult, but the way I made the code makes it difficult. I'll fix it. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Good, here's some more fuel. Uh, yeah, slide by that guy. Yeah, see, he's just going to follow me. That's the danger, is you skip them, but then as you explore dead ends and get slowed down, they catch up. So where is that guy? Let's murder his face. I'm glad that my shield is green. The bullets... Uh, that your shield shoots are the same color as the shield itself. Uh, there's a lot of weird color things like that. So people mentioned, um, one of the comments was, you know, I'm used to shields being blue uh, and probably health being red. They didn't say that. But as I thought of it, I was like, oh, yeah, conventions. In every game, health is red and shields are blue. That's, that's just a fact. That's science. Um, but not in this game. And the reason why not in this game is that your equipment has random colors. So if we look at my shield, it's got that green stuff going on and it's a green shield. We can also see I have a yellow uh, weapon and a blue weapon. They're shooting bullets of those colors. Um, although it's hard to see the blue ones because they're funny little X's. Um, ooh, ah. So anyway, is that, you know, that's why. That doesn't mean it's good. Um, whatever makes, whatever, uh, makes the game more readable, more understandable. That's the better choice to go. So I may just make it so that the shield bar is always blue. I don't know. I, I don't know how much that, that matters. Um, when you take a lot of hits, you know it. Uh, God. Um, and actually, in this game right now... Oh, why am I going back down here? I explored this because I'm confused because I'm talking. Uh, it's really hard to uh, keep up with the damage output in terms of defense. Like, your, your best bet is to dodge. Um, 
Can I slip through that? <laughs> um, your best bet is to dodge, and I, I mean, partly uh, things are kind of built around that, but I wish that you could trade off firepower for more resistance. Um, and I may make an expensive upgrade that gives you a second shield, because I think that would be super cool. Um, or something, or, or an upgrade that makes your shields do something. I don't know. I feel like you, you, there aren't often places where you could choose defense instead of offense. Defense is not as effective. Um, and I feel like that's too bad, because again, I would like to support multiple playstyles. Maybe you want to be a tank. And I've tried to do that in some of the unlockable ships. We'll see. I have not picked up any uh, ship blueprints. Ooh. I, I always have to stop and admire the rainbow bolts. Um, pro tip, the uh, little boxes with items in it. Also, who would know that those are boxes unless they had been told? Another place where the game has failed to inform you. Um, go away. Go away. Um, the boxes that are dropped by enemies can never include the unlockable content stuff, like the uh, blueprints, the ones dropped by enemies. So you have to search for the pre-placed pickups if you want to get uh, ship blueprints and things. Um, but anyway, let's see what we got here. Speed's increased, good. Invulnerability, speed's increased, restore shields, adds a temporary shield. That That's a useful one. What's this? When hit, fires a number of bullets based on the damage taken. We may do that. Do not want slowed. All right. Let's see. We do not have enough upgrade points. But let's see if we got a cool new weapon. All right. Sorry. Which is this? Blaster 2. Uh, 960. 975. Oh, that's so much better. A harder blaster. And a hard one. There's all harder, better, faster, and stronger are all adjectives for weapons because that was the right choice to make, in case you were wondering. Uh, let us get rid of this one, but who knows, I might want the other. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, I'm going to do it for the faster regen rate. I don't, the, the, I've tried to make shields that do more interesting things, and, um, I mean, the bullets do hit. It, it helps, when you're in a swarm of enemies, they, they will take things out for you, which is nice, but oftentimes they're not very useful. Like, you don't want to be in that sort of a dire situation to begin with. Uh, same with Nova Shield, um, but anyway, let's, uh, you know, and if people have ideas for, like, super cool items, especially now that the demo is out, let me know, and feel free to tell me how weak and useless a shield is. Um, not every equipment needs to be good, but you should, you should be making more interesting choices more often than not. Uh, and I, I think little gimmicks are fun, just for the, for the fun of little gimmicks. You know, like if there's just a shield that does something super weird but maybe isn't immediately useful, that, that, you know, that's fun. But that shouldn't be most of the shields. Um, especially because, and the reason I say that about gimmicky things is I, is I want to leave the possibility for bizarre interactions that you, you didn't expect. Um, you know, just because something doesn't have an all-the-time use doesn't mean it doesn't have a, a sometimes really fun use. All right, so we found four fuel on this level. I didn't even notice, so I didn't point it out. Um, there are a couple systems that have four fuel in them instead of three. And when you get that, you unlock an alternate route. So we could take this, this shorter path. And you know what? Again, just because I'm sick of these forests, I swear they're not more common. I don't know what's up. Uh, we're going to go to this desolate world just to show off more things. So this is not the right way. I love the noise these guys make when they die. It reminds me of Nintendo games. I think that's one of the nintendo -iest sounding lava. This lava's bad. Yeah, I get that fuel. Good. Look, we're already two-thirds of the way there. But again, we're going to explore. So this is not a lava planet, which means um, we're not going to find the... Uh, dodged all the shots. Oh, there's rainbow bolts. Um, we're not going to find the, the new enemy. They're on planets. They're entirely submerged in lava. They're not on these ones. Oof, oof, oof. Do, 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 do. Nope, nothing in here. Ooh, ooh. I cannot believe I dodged that. Also, I can't believe I shot that guy before he hit me. Okay, whatever, whatever. Do not want... Not gonna deal with that cat. Uh, stop with your EMP. Those guys get, they're not so bad on their own. When you combine them with other things, they're really bad. Uh, in particular, we haven't encountered them yet, although we're soon going to. There is an enemy that tries to get above you and he, he has a weapon that only shoots downwards, which you can get as a player and it's awful and you don't want it. That's not entirely true. On the mining planets, they would be really good, uh, which we haven't seen yet. But I'm sure we will. Um, anyway, it's a weird weapon. 
he has it, and he tries to get above you to shoot at you with it, and it's really bad, and usually you dodge, although it's a little scary, uh, but if you get hit with the EMP shots, then you just get murdered, um, and I really like that, I really want a uh, common, oof, well, there goes my scatter shield, and I'm in horrible lava, so lava, in lava your shields do not regenerate, the lady is supposed to tell you about that, but she only tells you on lava worlds, not on any world that has lava, which I could fix. I should. Ah. Okay, good. Anyway, uh, because your shield's not regenerate in lava, I didn't want to run into those little uh, gnats. Uh, because then I would have taken damage and I wouldn't have liked it. All right. Uh, no, I want to explore a little more. I'm feeling okay. So I haven't uh, experienced any great danger yet. I haven't had any truly awful... Uh, experiences. Although I think once those bombing guys come into play, they're they're pretty bad. Um, okay, I'm not super fond of this of this upgrade. It's a speed thing. If you have it on the speed, you should be really fast. This one I will consider. Uh, Eleven damage is really bad, but that's a lot of my damage. Let's see what else we got here. Fires a number. Another scatter shield. I think that one's much faster though. Rubberized? Hell yeah. Um, alright, what else are we gonna do? I... We'll see. Uh, I, I don't need, I don't feel like I need the third one yet. Let's get the engine booster, and I will try to remember to use it. Let's get... A rubberized disruptor. Wow, that's a fast fire rate. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it second, though. And I could have a scatter shield that's faster, but a little weaker. See, well, and then the choices like this are a little more interesting, but like, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take the faster. We'll hope that that works. You can see my old charge, my or sorry, my shield bar changes. Anyway, all right, and we haven't found any new armors now. All right, another forest world. The game is convinced that forest worlds are the way to go. That's okay. There's no horrible threats on Forest Worlds. I should be happy if I'm trying to win. Go away. Oh, yeah, bouncing bullets. Yeah, bouncing bullets. And bouncing bullets do happy things on angles, which is why I love them so. Um, it's like half the reason to have angles, because the angles don't really do anything otherwise, right? They they make this, they do make the terrain look smoother, and I... Pr oof. Oh, oh, we've got upgraded four-way shooters. You see that? He shot twice. Yeah, we're starting to get upgraded versions of enemies. Um, oh. Oh, this guy's got bouncy shots, too. Oh, I don't like you. I don't like you. We're, we, we, we got a lot of, a. Uh, okay, let's just, you know, you know. All right. Uh, let's, let's repair something. Fully restore shields. It's like you wish these were grouped or something. Um, I think I, oh, we don't want that. Yeah, we're going to use invulnerability instead. That gives me time to recharge my shields. Those are the guys who uh, who drop bullets on you and are super bad. So we got, like, I think we it must be, whew, because we skipped a difficulty level, we have encountered, like, three new enemies by some horrible chance. Uh, okay, well, he didn't try to get above me now. Um, God, I kind of want to see what my text messages are, but this is not the time. Oh my God, these guys are really bad. Bouncing bolts are bad. I used to have them... So those guys used to fire their bouncy, their gun as often as... I died. As often as you would if you were a player, and that was terrible. Uh, so I made that stop. Let me see what my text messages are real quick <laughs> since I died. That's pro you're probably not supposed to do that. Let's just play again. Um, ah, I forgot to drink on it before. It's okay, it was empty. Um, yeah, no new messages. That's fine. Well, there are, but they're not super important. All right, let's name my ship Cardamom because I like spices, and that seems appropriate for brown color. So, because we got to that choice thing, you'll see we now have a new option. Let's go check out the desert worlds. So, this desert world is too low level. We are not going to, uh, for those little snake, the new snake enemies I was talking about, we're not going to see any here, which is too bad. Um, but, all right, all right, all right, let's be serious. We can win, can't we? 
So I died. The game got harder. That seemed like a significant difficulty jump, if you ask me. Um, and I have been tweaking when the enemies appear and when upgraded enemies appear. I feel like... I think it was just the jump of two new enemies at once, and I was not prepared. Um... Look at all these pickups. Pink alien artifact, unidentified ship part. And of course, I mean, if you have not played roguelikes before, be aware that a pink alien artifact, whatever it did last game, isn't necessarily doing this game. They're all random. All random all the time. All random all middle? That's different. Uh, whoa. All right. Anyway, so who knows what a pink artifact is going to do this time. I, feel I, I, I want to wiggle it up and down as I move because I've got this little trail thing now. It, it affects how I play. The reason I added that, maybe this is what I was trying to say, when I showed the game to my dad, he wasn't even super clear on when he was moving versus when enemies were moving. It was like that truck effect for him. And I think part of that was because your guy is always stuck in the middle of the screen unless you get to the bottom of the level like I did there. And so he just did not have a great sense that he was moving. Um, and someone posted on a YouTube comment uh, on one of my YouTube videos and said, hey, you should have a little effect from your engine. And he made some other suggestions. I forget. I'll go back and look at them. But I was like, yeah, an effect on your engine. That would be cool. And hopefully that would give a sense of motion because it leaves a trail behind you. Um, and I remember my dad couldn't tell that he was moving. So maybe that's good. And, you know, and, and uh, that is a thing that I have... Uh, also seen in other games, it, it is important. They say, for example, that you should not have the enemy, or sorry, the player, just stick in the middle. Oh, check that out. Four fuel. That means I'm going to unlock a secret. Um, because, uh, probably because of this reason, but so what I've seen suggested for, for games is that you have a little bit of camera lurp, where the camera um, is stuck behind you, or sorry, is it lags behind you a little as you move. Um, so, you know, I think of, like, Super Mario World or, or, or one of those, like, side-scrolling platforms. You move a bit to the left, and the camera doesn't follow you, and you keep moving to the left, and then it finally does follow you, you know, once you get far enough to the edge. Camera lerp is actually a little different. It's where you move, and then the camera is delayed by, like, a second, and it goes, oh, I'm going to start following you. And then if you stop, it would come and, and recenter on you slowly, if that makes sense. Um, and that's a good way to give a sense of motion, and I had experimented with that early on, but I did not like how it reduced what you could see, because in the direction you were moving, you, you know, the, you had a smaller space, and, and it's important to see what's in front of you, you need to shoot it. So I uh, took it out for that reason. When shoulders are below 50% firing of bullets. Sure, let's do that. Um... Let's, you know, let's not, let's, let's go for more weapons this time. Let's not buy that alien artifact upgrade. Let's, let's man up and, 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 that's not a very good phrase now to think of it. It's very gender, gender. All right, what else we got? Adds a temporary shield, very good. Reduces shields, very bad. Fully repairs armor, fine. And let's get rid of this and let's not do these things. All right, so we're going to take a crazy route because let's do it. Um, and we get a lava world, and I don't know what the difficulty level is going to be. Oh, good, so here you go. I feel I should remind you that our shields are not designed for the high temperatures of lava. Well, they will technically hold, we will not be able to regenerate them while submerged. And that's why that little lava text blinks. And it's going to be really funny, as I lose the temporary shield, that lava text is going to move with it. You'll see. Uh, screw you, EMP guy. Nope, I don't want your EMP shots. Ah. I got one anyway. Uh, I was going to say the worst thing, but it's not the worst. The neutral thing about lava is that you move slower, but so do your bullets, and so do the enemies, and so do the enemy bullets, and so it's really just like having slow motion all the time, which of course is good. Um, sound a little like GLaDOS just then. Uh, anyway, this is suboptimal. This is a time when uh, guns that shoot down would, would be the preferred way to go. Yeah, see, there goes my temporary shield. All right. All that for black. I hope black alien artifacts are good. Let's see. Do we even know? Temporary shield. Okay. Worth. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, stop it. Gray alien artifact. No idea what those do. Yeah, I don't want to shoot them on. Uh, I never use these. All right, let's use a red one. Let's see what it does. Double shield regenerate. Well, that's useless because I've got shields. That's fine. Now we know. Now we know. Better than using it in battle and then discovering that it's like inverts your controls. That one's terrible. <laughs> so, I'll you know, that's fine. 
I think the right choice is to, from from a being good at the game and wanting to win point of view, I think the right choice is to play the alien artifact identification game and not spend your upgrade point. You should spend the upgrade point on other things. I think um, that I think is a good, interesting choice. I think I think that works out. I like that upgrade option. Um, God, someone's shooting. Oh, yep, there are the bullets. Okay, well, far enough away, he's not interested anymore. They, they used to, uh, so there's a maximum distance you can, there's a, there's a certain distance at which you get from an enemy and the enemy unspawns or, wh or whatever you want to say. Uh, and it used to be that those guys shooting, the guy who, who shoots and aims with his EMP bullets, uh, he used to just shoot as long as he was anywhere in your direction, no matter how far away you were from him until he was unspawned. And that was so infuriating because the noise. <laughs> so I made it so they uh, shoot when you get a certain distance away, even before they unspawn. All right, so he's not shooting at me, but he does still exist. If we go back, yeah, he's gonna shoot again. Okay, but we don't want to deal with it. I'm I'm good. This is good. I'm not getting hit with shots. There's more of those. Uh, oh, I see. Look, look, there's bubbles. Yeah, bubbles reveal items. Because these guys swarm on items. I like the bubble effect in the water, too. That was really early. I see more bubbles. Uh, the ashes are a more recent addition. All right. We're doing pretty good. I've still got my temporary shield. That's impressive. I feel like I don't usually do this good. Man, two guys? Do this well, I suppose, if you feel like being grammatically correct. I don't super care. Uh, that's one of those things that I feel like no one's going to care about in the future. I don't know. We already have fat in the dictionary. Why can't you say, I did really good instead of I did really well? You know, everyone knows what you mean. Anyway, not that I'm arguing for the use of the word fat with a ph. That's that's just unacceptable. People, is that still a thing? Now I don't even know. There was something I said recently, and I was like, oh, I'm old, because that's a thing. Oh, just, I, I, I don't actually say it, but I just remembered. I recalled woot with zeros. That used to be a thing. And now that's not a thing anymore. I don't think people, I don't think people really do leet, leet speak the way that they used to. It was, a, it was a bigger thing. Remember Mega Tokyo? Do they still do that webcomic? Let's not talk about things that, make, <laughs> that uh, reveal my, my age. If I was going to be into webcomics, uh, I would be reading Homestuck, but I'm not. I did read MS Paint Adventures, but there's just too much Homestuck. I really like the concept. I used to run a, um, so I, I, I still do, I guess. I, I have a web game uh, called SciPets. Go ahead and look it up. Um, and so SciPets is a very different game. It's a game about taking care of pets uh, based on human psychology. It's really cool. And Maslow's hierarchy of needs, uh, you know, if they're feeling hungry, then they don't care about the fact that they're feeling, um, let's say, lonely or whatever. They, they follow that, that hierarchy. God, I'm not going to explain the whole Maslow's hierarchy of needs right now. Um, anyway, it's a browser-based game. And I was running it for a long time, and then I stopped when I got my full-time job because it is a lot of work to run. There's the whole community with all the forums and making sure that's fine, and people's accounts, they lose their password, and they need it reset. For some reason, the reset tool isn't good enough for them. You know, whatever. Um, I just couldn't keep up with it, and so I, I stopped working on SciPets. Uh, and I started getting into it again, but honestly, the people... I, it's just been running so long, people have strong op opinions about how the game should be, and uh, when I wanted to change things, people got upset, and it was no longer fun. Um, let's go to a second weapon slot. Anyway, so I ran a webcomic for the game inspired by uh, MS Paint Adventures, where people could vote on what would happen next, but it was all SciPets themed. When hit, fires a number of bullets. Sure, we'll take it because it's a bigger shield. Um, Sorry, do I have new armor? Anyway, that was really fun. While slowed, fire a ring of 12 bolts every five seconds. The bolts deal 30 damage. Sure, let's take it. I get slowed. That's a good one. I like that. I like it. It's a good passive. Um, Ice world. All right. Yeah, I've got my... Ran I love that the random guns just shoot. Whoa, that was a case where I felt like I was moving when I'm not. That was super trippy. All right. Did that happen to you? It was that feeling like when a truck passes you by. Yeah, that's, that's what happens. Ow. Um, anyway... Um, so yeah, that, that was really fun. I, I did a webcomic for a while. My, my artistic skills are not super great, but I have a, a sort of a style. I can attempt to draw humans. I'm just really bad at it. I'm much better at this pixel stuff. 
uh, which is why I did a pixely game. Uh, but years, I ran that game for seven years, and then there was two years of stopping, and then I tried to get in it again, and that failed, as I described. Uh, this has been great. I love the, the feedback that people have. You know, everyone's excited to see things, and yeah, you know, there's there's some criticisms, but I, I feel like the criticisms, the criticisms are fair. You know, there aren't that many interesting things happening on levels, uh, and I'll talk about some of that soon. Um, yeah, so this has been this has been a joy. It's 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 what, in my mind, it, it's what side pets used to be, and, and not in the game at all. The games are totally different, but just in in getting that feedback and people being excited about the game, and and it's really great. Um, so I, I I do want to thank everyone again for all the wonderful feedback. It's been fantastic and motivate. It is. It's so motivating. It's just it's so cool. Um, and yeah, we're getting cool ideas. So boring levels. Um, one of the exam uh, some can't talk. One of the ideas a guy had was to have hot spots on lava levels that would hurt you. He didn't think that the non-shield regenerating... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's see if we can... Ah! All right. Um, <laughs> he didn't think that that was deadly enough, and I don't know. I, apparently not. I got through that whole lava level, didn't even care. Wasn't wasn't a thing. Um, people say ain't no thing, I guess would be the right way. Anyway... So he was suggesting hot spots within the lava where you would get damaged or have other things. I didn't... I, m I might do that. That that was less exciting to me, but it gave me an idea. I was thinking of having, um... You know, like in lots of water levels, like on Super Mario World. Let's use that example again. Uh, they would have those, like, pipes. They're shooting bubbles, and, and they push you away and all that kind of thing. I think it would be cool to have vents uh, in the water levels and in the lava levels that push you away. Um... That could be really cool. Resist your movement, at least. Um, it would be hard to move against them. And then maybe things like that passive speed increase would be better. Look at my score. I'm getting a lot of points. All right. Uh, so I, I'm definitely looking. I mean, again, so even if the idea isn't something that I think is exciting, the idea itself, it, you know, inspires something else. And so it's great hearing everything from people. Even if an idea seems bad or you think it's not possible, things are surprising. Some some things that you think would be easy to code are really hard, and some things that you think would be really hard are trivial. You, you just can't know. Um, and a programmer, if other programmers out there will certainly have a better idea. But, I mean, you don't know what the underlying system of is my engine. Well, like I was saying, making the, the background, instead of being all square, giving it angles, make it look smooth, the way I set up, I did something stupid, and so now that's harder than it should be. Things like that, and other things that maybe I put more work into that people wouldn't expect, like particle effects. I have a good particle effect system in, so it wasn't hard to get the engine uh, effect on, which is why I went ahead and did it. Anyway, let's see. Speed up movement. Um, no, we're going to stick with the EMP channeler, and let's see. No new weapons, no new shields, new armor. Oh my god. So regenerating armor, the max armor is always less. It's like a percent, I think two-thirds or three-quarters of, of what, it, what it would have otherwise been if it weren't regenerating armor. So the fact that this is the same, but then also regenerates and does all this cool stuff. Increased shield recharge rate. Yeah, it's because I have not found a new armor in forever because random numbers hate me. See, as opposed to like 70. Resists 50% of damage. The reason why there's such a weird number, the reason why it's 69 isn't because I purposely put 69 to the game to be funny. The reason is that the armor gains are logarithmic, so... Um, you know, uh, like say a level 1 armor might be 10, and then a level 2 armor might be 20, but then a level 3 armor goes up only 9 this time, now it's only 29 instead of, you know, instead of 30, and so the, the, it adds on less and less and less the higher level armor you get, uh, and I did that because I was noticing armor was just preventing you from ever dying, so there's weird little things like that in the game. Anyway, uh, yeah, we don't want an engine booster, and... Yeah, see, that's another problem of taking the short route, which we kind of did before, is that we don't have as much, uh, we don't have as many upgrade slots. I was like, how do I not have more upgrade parts? Because I would really like to get a third weapon slot, but, well. All right, so we can't go down, which is interesting. I think you would be able to, since I went this route. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, you, you're not supposed to. It makes you, you have to go through the little paths in a, in a fixed direction. Oh, yeah, I was slowed, so I shot my little Nova ring. That's what that was. Also, I noticed a bug. Um, from the... So I added bouncing bullet Or, sorry, I added angled walls, which meant that bouncing bullets that, you know, usually would only bounce left and right, 
God, let me think how to describe this. I hadn't made bullet graphics that were vertical. All the bullet graphics were horizontal or dots. And so if I had any bouncing weapon, or sorry, any weapon that shot bullets at an angle, a significant angle, I just made sure to always use graphics that weren't uh, long bullets, you know, so you wouldn't have a, a wide bullet shooting straight up because that would look silly. Anyway, once I added the angled walls and bouncing bullets were bouncing off, then I was like, well, now all my bouncing bullet weapons are going to have to have, you know, I reduced the number of graphics. I can't have them have long graphics. It's like, ah, fine, I'll add in um, the other. I'm worried that what I'm saying is making no sense. Anyway, I had to add more graphics to account for the bounce, bullets bouncing uh, vertically. Um, or else limit the number of bullets. Anyway, so because I did all that, uh, I also had to go back over all the equipment and, and tell it, and that, that guy, did you see? He shot vertical bullets. I was trying to shoot at the box. Um, ooh, I have a knockback gun? Is that true? Does that gun knock back? Yeah, it knocks targets back. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can see it. The Nova, you're not seeing any bullets up and down, and the reason is because I failed to upgrade the Nova shield, or this equipment, rather, um, to tell its bullets what graphic to use when its bullets are traveling vertically. And so we're not seeing those bullets, but they do exist, and they could hit and damage things. Um, and so I'm glad we saw this bug. We learned about this together, and I will fix it. I'm going to try to loud those noises are for you guys. All right. Oh, I got a log. Let's do, whoops, let's check it out. I repaired the O2 tank today and set the assembler building more O2, but our hydrogen supply is running low. I can't word. One or two more accidents like this and I don't know what we'll do. Hmm. Well, that's sad for you, mysterious writer of that log. Also, that's cool that you have a little tank that creates O2 from hydrogen. So, let me tell you about the world. I might as well. What else am I talking about, right? Uh, the world this game is set in, this, this universe. I love futurists. I don't think they're right, necessarily, but I like the idea. So if you're not super familiar, the singularity. There's this idea about the singularity that I think it's by like the year 2030, we're supposed to have hardware that is capable of simulating the human brain, but we won't have the software for another 10 years was the sky's predictions. Um, and a lot of this hinges on uh, nanotechnology, getting nanobots in brains so that we can actually see what neurons are doing on a neuron by neuron level. And he thinks we're going to have that technology. Um, we don't seem to be, you know, I haven't, I haven't heard anything exciting about, about that recently. Because the idea is we've got MRIs, um, but they're not super precise. Like we, we have nothing approaching neuron to neuron um, or neuron by neuron evaluation of a brain. Anyway, so he thinks that we're going to we're going to be we're going to solve that. We'll be able to see exactly what human brains are doing. And once we can do that, then we just simulate it on a computer. Like it's easy once you know what it's doing. Um, and there's a lot going and there's already projects to try and do this even without having uh, the information that we have um, the blue brain project, which is kind of scary. I worry about the ethics side of things. Um, but anyway, uh, so he thinks that we'll all get We'll, we'll have like strong AI, we'll have you know computers that are true artificial intelligence, they will talk to you, will be indistinguishable from humans other than the fact that they have no physical bodies. Um, but we could build them cool robot bodies, that'd be great. And and he thinks this will be a good thing. And I and I, I think that, that if we get to that point, whenever we get to that point, I'm not gonna say what if, I think it's gonna happen. But whenever we get there, um, I think it could be a good thing. We just have to not be, we just have to not be dicks <laughs> to, uh, to artificial intelligences. Um, this one fires more bullets for more damage, so it's better. Um, ooh, an ocean world. Yeah, that's fun. I like those fragmenting bullets. Dual fragmenting bullets. That's crazy. All right. Uh, so he thinks that we'll have all this stuff by like 2050 we'll be uploading our brains into computers and that'll be awesome i think that'd be awesome and just think of the crazy possibilities so again is that going to happen probably not humans are notoriously bad at predicting the future everyone who's ever tried and succeeded was lucky um and it's it's funny so here's another funny thing human brains are really bad at random numbers when something happens like okay suppose you flip a coin a bunch of times uh, and you get like a head six times in a row or a tail six times in a row. You might think that's kind of crazy. 
Uh, but if you flip a coin a hundred times, it's gonna happen. You only have to flip a coin a hundred times, and it's normal to get six heads in a row, or six tails in a row. Um, like, it should happen with a hundred. Like, it's, it's not that it's weird, it should happen. But brains are really bad at evaluating that kind of thing. And the same thing happens when you see, like, a, uh, you know, if you have a hundred humans, and one of them makes a really good prediction six times in a row, that's normal, it's still random, that human is not skilled, it's just that if any human says a bunch of stuff, and a lot of humans say a bunch of stuff, some of the humans happen to say really good stuff. So, um, anyway, so, is, 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 are we gonna have awesome strong AI in, you know, 2040 or whatever? I don't know. If we do, is it going to be the way that he that, that Ray Kurzweil, the, the guy who wrote this book and got the whole singularity thing, people excited about that? It probably not. It's probably not going to be the way he envisioned. Um, you know, some things may match. And it's really funny because because in his book, he's like, yeah, I've successfully predicted all these things before, and so that's how you know I'm a super smart guy. And I mean, yeah, there is such a thing as being, you know, knowing more than someone who knows nothing. Like, if you ask someone who didn't know anything about technology and computer capabilities what might happen in 40 years, they would probably give you a worse estimate, but it's 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 still just a guess. Like we don't know, we don't know, and a lot of it's social, right? Like a bunch of people listening are probably already like, I would never upload my brain to a computer, and that's gonna I wouldn't want nanobots in my brain, you know. And and that kind of resistance is gonna is gonna exist as well. You you can't anticipate the social things, especially, or maybe a bunch of movies start coming out and about it that put it in a good light, and people get excited, like her, right? I still even even seen her. And I need to see that movie because it's everything that I want it to be. I know just from hearing about it. Anyway, goodness. So this this game <laughs> is about that. It is about uh, the singularity, and there are, I believe, four. There's three or four factions that are all human human related. So we have vanilla humans, let's say humans with no modifications. They don't they don't want nanobots in their brains. They don't want anything. Uh, they just want to be humans, they think that their stuff's crazy. Which I'm sure there will be some of those, forever and ever. Um, and, well, until they all die off because they can't compete. Uh, and <laughs> outbred or something. Um, not because we'll kill you. If, 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 when I get uploaded into a computer, I won't kill the people who aren't. Just, just saying, because I'm also human and you're also humans. And that's the other thing, I don't, I don't understand why people are so afraid of AI. Like, we make AI that's based on human brains, it's going to think like a human, right? So if you raise it in a nice environment, it won't become a psychopath and murder everyone. Like, it seems really straightforward. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Um, so we have logs from different perspectives. We have logs from the perspective of vanilla humans. We have logs from the perspective of humans that have augmentations of various kinds, so like cyborgs, and we have AIs that are just pure AI, like the AI that Ray Kurzweil thinks we'll create, and then we have humans who have been uploaded into computers, right? So there's four factions. Uh, and I have logs from the perspectives of different people, all of whom are looking for this mysterious source. Uh, and, and so you can find logs about that. And that's, that's kind of what the universe has said. And I just use it to explore some weird ideas because I think this stuff is really cool to think about. Um, let's equip another weapon. A trail destroyer, a quad blaster. Hmm. It could be useful. We'll equip it as my third weapon. No, we won't. Let's, let's do that. Trail destroyers I'm not enthusiastic about. All right. Um, so like there's an, an all human who gets online and gets a uh, pure AI, like he's, he's a human who just uh, gets online with nanobots in your brain. Because you once you have nanobots in your brain communicating with your neurons, measuring their, what they do, and then, and then sending them signals, you, you could like full virtual reality is like amazing and, and it'll happen. We're never we're never gonna have holodecks. We're never gonna have a holodeck like in the because why would we? It's much easier to just imagine those things. Um, or we would just build things and they'd be real. I don't, how is a holodeck supposed to work? They probably make something up. Um, it's too stupid to exist <laughs> on too many levels. Anyway, so it's I have some logs from a human who's like getting online and has a. Uh, I guess you could say girlfriend, but the AIs don't have so much gender identity. Uh, but having fun with his pure AI person who thinks that a pure human is very exciting and very strange, and so they have fun times 
sexy fun times. You can you can read all about it in the logs. Um, and just exploring all kinds of weird ideas about wh what things would be like um, from as many points of view as possible. The AI I find the weirdest to, to do. They just put computer logs at you and tell you what they're doing. They're building Dyson swarms. Are you familiar? We'll talk about those when we're playing. Face shield, become invincible. Let's do that. I feel like that will be more useful to me. Um, we have reactive armor, gain a temporary shield. That's actually really good. Oh my god, it's so, that armor is so strong. All right, I don't even know how to use my own UI. All right, uh, we don't have any upgrade points. All right, let's not, let's see, one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, go, one, two, three, four. Uh, no, that's fine, let's go for it. Let's go to a mining world. It's a purple one, these come in two colors. Goodness. Um, oh, well, you didn't have to go far to mine, did you? Uh, so this is really, really slow like lava. I believe even slower, but does not stop your shields from regenerating because it is not lava. <laughs> I move as fast as those bolts, practically. Huh. So I did a thing recently that said they're not supposed to be angled. It looks like my logic was a little bad. Anyway, boop, 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 boop. They're not supposed to look like that. we will fix it. Uh, uh. I'm getting pretty far. Do you think I'm going to win? I might win. No, oh, that was suboptimal. I should I should use my invincibility thing. It's just a push of a button away. I don't even have to open my. I have not been looking at my. Gosh. What's this do? Fully restore shields. Good. I'm glad I tried it out. Ooh, those guys are less good. All right. Oh 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 oh! You're you're bad. You're bad. You're bad, and I don't like you. Uh, they move so slow. Goodness. All right, we got some fuel. Anyway, so I don't remember what all I was saying before about all the fun singularity stuff, just that that is the setting for the game. Um, oh, Dyson Swarms. So a Dyson Sphere is a ridiculous idea where you're like, hey, suns give off a lot of energy. What would be the best way to get that energy? As a human who doesn't know much about I feel like this can't be the best way. There's probably better ways, but but I, I don't know what it would be. We'll figure it out in the future, maybe. Uh, so, <laughs> anyway, best way, in theory, is to surround the entire sun in a solar panel. All the way around. It's not even 360 degrees, because it's three-dimensional. I don't know how you... What's, what's the 3D equivalent of saying full 360? Um, but anyway, so you make a big shell around the sun, and I don't remember what distance you put it at. I'm sure there's an optimal distance, but you do that. The problem is how. <laughs> how do you build such a monstrous thing? What would be easier is to build a Dyson Swarm. And a Dyson Swarm is you build lots of little tiny satellites that are collecting solar power. Ooh, I forgot that he shoots twice. Also, do you notice that that's not as on center as you wish it were? the bullets he was shooting. Anyway, so you build little satellites with solar panels uh, that are lasering energy back to Earth, which sounds ridiculous, but would totally work. Um, anyway, you send the energy the energy back to Earth, uh, and you have a swarm of these things sitting out there. Uh, and the great thing about a swarm, as opposed to a sphere, is that it's, you know, you, you do it in smaller pieces. So, oh, whoa, I've taken some damage here. Um... If you want a little more power, you just build another little satellite and send it up there. Um, and if one satellite goes down, then obviously that sucks, but it's not the whole thing. Not that I can't imagine it would be easy to destroy an entire Dyson Sphere. Anyway, the idea of it... So anyway, I, there's some... Uh, sorry, two anyways. The first anyway is that there's a log entry where some AIs are apparently beginning construction of a Dyson Swarm. Spoiler alert. Uh, the other anyway is that one thing that people who want to look for extraterrestrial life look for is Dyson Swarms, or sorry, Dyson Spheres, because if you did have uh, an entire star surrounded by something, uh, there would be waste heat. Um, entropy says there must be, so it would give off a particular signature, basically. I do not remember the details, but you would detect a Dyson Sphere. It would look very funny. You ought to be able to to see it. And that would be a red flag for artificial intelligence, right? Um, or sorry, not for artificial intelligence, for extraterrestrial life. 
and intelligent life. Uh, but those aren't in this game because I think they're, they're a bad idea. But that's just me. What do I know? I am one guy saying many things. And there's a chance that six of them in a row will be good. And out of six of, you know, that thing I said before. All right, let's see what we want to do. Uh, this is the heavy split blaster. Angled bullets, 50 damage. More damage. One travels up, the other travels down. That's weirder. Uh, knock back. Fires four bullets. Yeah. Rapid fire long blaster. They deal 60 damage. Yeah. Ah, what's, the, what's the next planet? I'm going to keep the up and down. The up and down shooty guns are really good for these mining plants where you have to go down those shafts, but I'm not... That's not what the next planet is. So I'm going to keep it, but I'm not going to equip it right now. What's this new shield? A new scatter shield. Whoa, the regen ray is so much faster. Reactive armor. Sure, originally 69. Yep, yep. Increases shield recharge, increases weapon recharge, regenerates a point of armor every two seconds. Wow. That's a... That's... It's a, it's smaller, but that's like crazy. Crazy shield regenerate. Let's try it out. I don't... That seems... That seems a lot. I'm going to try that out. <gasps> I have not lost whole yet, but in, in theory, these are really good. I've been doing really well. I mean, once you start to do badly, you're just dead. Like, once you start taking whole damage, you're, you're just going to die. So, all right. Yeah, let's use... So let's go through inventory. This inventory thing is still a mess because it is hard to find the items you want. Never used it before. What is it? Full repair hole. Good to know. Reduce the shields. Do not want. Restore shields. Invulnerability. Sure, never used it. Inverts controls. Glad we got rid of that. All right, we do not actually need to keep these. You have never used this. Destroys all enemies on the screen. Also good. Speeds increased. Do not want that. Fully restores. Adds a temporary speeds increased. All right. Okay. We're getting close. We're getting close to the mysterious source. I really hope I can show it to you guys. Uh, there's a little... What? Why am I so fast? Oh, because I have that increased speed thing. Actually, I think this is a bug I discovered... Okay, no. Good, it went back down. I forgot that I had that. There was a bug, I may have already fixed it, where somehow you would get the speed boost and keep it forever, which is both good and ooh, good and bad. God, these guys are fast. I do not like them. Um, those new, those upgraded four-way Fommel Hots, as they're called. Oh, God, I like all my weapons. Though. I just take out those swarm. Ooh, ooh. You are bad news bears. Please, please die. All right. Haven't seen any of the new, uh, the new, uh, the new enemy I was talking about, the snake thing. I promise they exist. Um. Uh-oh. Oh, it's an upgraded, uh, guy who shoots when you kill him. Oh, 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 God, I didn't even notice his things are, okay, we're starting to have troubles. Um, let's just, <laughs> shit. Sorry. <laughs> I uh, pressed the wrong button. I tried to activate my uh, invulnerability and pressed the wrong button. All right, we need to use... <sighs> we need to fully repair our armor. Uh, God, did you see those shields, though? Those regenerate super fast. Well, that's fun. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, that's normal. Oh, here's the guy that shoots bullets at you. And is bad in comedy. He has rainbow. I just... <laughs> I haven't seen those guys with the rainbow bullets before. All right. Yeah, okay. I need to know what button is my invulnerability. I tried to press Y, and it is X. And so that was the wrong choice to make. These guys are kind of unpleasant as well. They take a lot of shots. Ooh. So one of the ways in which the game becomes harder... This is what I'm talking about. These can't be angled. These little... These little background bits because of stupid things I did in the code, but again, fixed. Um, that was forever ago. Uh, another reason the game gets harder, there's a few things it does. You can have more on-screen enemies, goodness. Uh, more enemies are allowed to be on the screen simultaneously as you progress. Um, we have upgraded versions of old enemies, uh, as we are seeing now. Um, and... 
Though those little black swarms get bigger, not that you care. Oof, oof, oof. Uh, and there's one more thing. Oh, those little bugs that come flying in from the sneak. Flying in from the side. Uh, more of them. There's more of them, so you just get more guys to try and shoot and dodge. For, you know, more excitement. Armor, weapon. All right, let's, let's, check, our, let's check this stuff out. We got a new phase shield. We're invincible for longer. Cooldown isn't any better, but we'll take it. Um, let's see what kind of new weapon we got. A rubberized destroyer. Oh my god, 100 damage? And yeah, let's do that. Wow, the damage is getting crazy on these things. Yeah, you're nonsense. I really need to fix that knockback damage. That's not good enough. Vertical blaster will still keep. Let's see. That's a lava world. We don't care. We got new armor. Fleet armor. Yeah, this armor is messed up. Um, but maybe we'll just replace it. When this armor takes damage, you get plus 50% movement speed for 4 seconds. It cannot be triggered more than once every 10 seconds. Okay. 95 armor. 73 fires a bullet in a random direction twice a second. And it'll be a stronger bullet. The bullets get stronger. It depends on the armor strength. So, second weapon's fire rate is doubled. That's interesting. I'd probably honestly prefer that to faster movement. And it gives me more shield regen, which... Oh, yeah, this is giving me the 21%. Uh, <laughs> it's like... It's like every game that has randomly generated inventory like this. You look at all the things and you just don't know what to do. Let's take... It's just so much more armor. Yeah, I won't do the fleet. And we can get rid of this, like, old old armor. Oops. Uh, no, a new shield? Sure. New armor, yep, already checked out. We checked our new weapons, we checked out, okay. We will get... I wonder if I should be getting uh, stronger holes. I'm going to get thruster 1 and thruster 2, and I just remember, I just have to remember to use it. So thrusters 2, I didn't... It lets you switch directions while firing and moving by doing the left and right trigger on your gamepad. Oh, I forgot the upgrade version that they shoot to the side. Oh, look, little snake guys. Okay, we don't have time for you. Oh, I've taken some shield. Oh no, lava! No, lava! I don't regenerate shields while I'm in lava. Ooh, 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 Um, okay, we need to do something. Uh, X, we're gonna be invulnerable. Yep, yeah, screw you guys. You're all dead now, it's great. Ah, oh, let's get out of here. Need to regenerate shields. And shoot the funny snakes. So there's the little snake guys. And do you see the little eyes on them? Isn't that adorable? I put little eyes on the head and they rotate based on the angle. <laughs> Sines and cosines are your friend. I saw... I was very confused by this. I saw a stack exchange or, you know, one of those things. God, I'm not helping my shields. I just need to get shield recovery. Um... You know, people post questions and get answers. And someone was like, you should never need trigonometry. If you need trigonometry, you're doing it wrong. And I'm like, what? Someone tell me if I'm doing things wrong for using trigonometry and why, but... Trigonometry makes beautiful circles. And beautiful circles are beautiful. There's a lot going on, on the screen these days, and lava's not helping because it's so slow. All right, we didn't explore here. I realized I backtracked a bit. I was distracted talking. Ah, oh, but that's okay, I found the fuel worth. Oh yeah, my armor. Um, Have I ever found a thing that restores armor? I'll take a temporary shield. Um, sensors flicker. Well, we get to deal with flickering sensors. Ah, oh, it's not that bad when there's no... Oh, oh, those guys snuck up on me though. I'm not super pleased with that effect. God, the static. I'm not super thrilled with that effect, but uh, it works. Get away, you silly. I like them. They're so adorable. <laughs> I really like those guys. 
All right. Ooh, guy dropping, dropping stuff. Oh God, these bouncy bullet guys. It's the unpredictability that makes them so bad. If you knew where they were going to fire their bullets, you'd just not be in the way. Okay, let's not let's not deal with that right now. Ooh, we're getting lots of these snake guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. I did not see him, and I don't know why. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, got little snakes following us. Oh, God. That really hurt. I really need to remember to use my... Uh, Invulnerable. Yeah, this is not acceptable. Where's, uh... Yeah, it's restore shields. Uh-oh. X. Nope. Screw you. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have those bouncing bolts now. Oh, damn it. Oh, God, they bounce... Oh, God. I'm like, oh, no! 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 I should have left. I should have left. But I was like, how else am I going to get down there? Uh... God, those guys are really bad. It's the bounciness. Well, um, there you go. We sure did play Mysterious Space together, and we discovered some bugs, many of which I've forgotten. Uh, bullets, the, the it was the Nova armor or Nova shield or something, or Nova accessory, one of them. So I'll look for all of them. Uh, bullets were not shooting in the right direction. Let's, let's check out my high score, 55,093. Good. God, yeah, it is. Once you start going down, you just go down fast. Um, which also makes some of the bonuses the armors give. Like, the armor's like, oh, your hole takes a smaller percent of damage. And you're like, okay, but if I'm down to my hole, I'm screwed. <laughs> like, So I feel like there's some balance to work out there. Um, and, you know, these are things that will improve over time. That's the whole point. Let's look at my collections. I only found one log that whole game. I'm disappointed. I found no ship blueprints. That is terrible. The odds were against me. I, I feel like I should have found one. Um, but, yeah, you can look over all the items you collected. Uh, that's what it was initially a question, question, question. And we can look at my high scores now. Good. Thank you for watching me play Mysterious Space. I, um, you know, got to show off. The, I'm really glad I got to show off the little, little worm snake guys. Uh, but... The demo is out, so, you know, play the demo and or watch this, and please leave wonderful comments telling me how to make this game super awesome, because I'm prepared to work on this for years to come. I think it, I, I don't see this as a project that has a definite end. People have asked me, when do you think it will be done? And I consider it done now, and I consider it done never. Uh, it's that sort of thing. Uh, so, thank you for, again for watching, and goodbye.